Okie dokie. Um, I have videos to get into this a little bit more in depth, so you can look at those if you want to. It really doesn't matter where you put the logo, but if I'm looking at the thing, it's going to bother me if it's sideways and stuff. So um, I still haven't adjusted the drums yet, so I think what I'm going to do is have the logo just kind of match the, where the post is. I don't know, I'm a little OCD, OCD that way. But it doesn't matter, it's all the same. Okay, so the first thing I do is with my fingers only, I mean, this is just how I do it, is, um, and I'm starting with the small drum because it's gonna be easier to deal with for holding a camera. Oh, come on, get in there. Get in the hole, man, okay. So um, what I'm doing is I'm getting the tension rods threaded into the receiving end of, of the lug casings. Where did I put my drum key? Isn't that always the question? Where's the drum key? Oh, here it is. By the way, I love Rock and Sock Thrones. I don't know that I've used anything else in the last 15 or 20 years. For teaching, I like the ones with the backrest so I can like kind of relax while I'm teaching, but when I'm playing, I don't like a backrest because I like to be free. <laughs> okay, so, um, so I use my fingers only, but I'm just doing this to speed it up a little bit. And what I'm feeling for is that first uh, sign of uh, some tension. And then that gives me a good kind of starting place when I go to tune the top heads. Okay, now if my other hand was free, what I, what I feel for is I, I'll put my thumb on the edge here to make sure that the plastic of the head is actually touching, and it's not over here, touching the, uh, the edge of the shell, the shell, the bearing part of the shell. Um, sometimes what'll happen is it won't, it'll feel like it's getting tight, but it's not, because it's not actually touching yet. So what you wanna do is make sure everything's properly seated. And usually, actually what happens, usually, is right now it feels like it's all properly seated. I haven't hit, even hit the drum yet. So I'm gonna set this somewhere else. I guess we'll. <laughs> Drums also du double as buckets. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen my ice bucket challenge yet, I created a bucket out of a drum. It was so cool, and I do a drum solo and I get spilled with it. So look up Tobin Wagstaff music, ice bucket challenge. It's pretty funny. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? So that's a little dead. Let's see if uh, while I'm holding a phone, I can. Get this just a little bit more tension and see if we can get it to a, a, a happy place. Let's see if we can get this drum to a happy place. Ooh, I like that. Notice I didn't do very much. Ooh, I like that a lot. Now I'm starting to get excited. Putting together all these drums and stuff, yeah, there's parts of it that's really fun because it's like playing with big kid, kid Legos. But man, I've been doing this stuff for so long now. Fixing other people's stuff. I ran a music store for a while. I've been teaching forever. I'm just tired. I just want to play music. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is where it starts getting exciting. When these things start coming together. I haven't even started working on the bass drums yet. I'll make different videos about that. They're not even tuned. Um, and then eventually I'm gonna have to tune these snares and figure out which ones I wanna use. So, and these symbols, so it's all coming together. I'm starting to get excited.